Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you an example of how we can use the principle of conservation of energy to solve a problem. So we have here a wooden block of mass small m, a lead ball of mass big M. This is a string and this is a frictionless pulley. So when the system is let go, um, obviously the wooden block is going to accelerate up along the slope. What's the easiest way to find the maximum speed of the wooden block? PCOE maybe? But if you want to apply PCOE, you always need a before instant and an after instant. So for this problem, the before instant should be the instant when the system was let go. And the after instant should be the instant when the lead ball just hits the ground here. Next, we have to identify the gains and losses in energies. Obviously, the lead ball has fallen down in height, so there's a loss in GPE of big M. The wooden block, on the other hand, has a gain height, so there's a gain in GPE of small m. Both the masses will be moving at the maximum speed just before the collision, so there's a gain in kinetic energy of big M plus small m. The magical thing about uh, the principle of conservation of energy is that if there's no net external force doing work on this system, then the losses will be equal to the gains. Since the total amount of energy in the system should remain constant. If between this instance and this instance, somebody came along and give this lead ball an extra pull downwards, then this equation will not be valid anymore because that extra pull results in a work done by external force which would have increased the total energy in this system. Let's now put in some formula. The loss in GP of uh, the lead ball is of course MGH where H is the vertical height. The gain in GP of the wooden block is MGH sine theta. This because um, if this end of the string has gone down a distance of h, then this end of the string should also have gone up along the slope by a distance h. See? If this end goes down by h, this end should go up along the slope by h as well. So if this is h, then the vertical height gained by the wooden block is of course this length here, which is h sine theta. Since the two masses started from rest, the gain in Ke of the two masses can be written as half m plus m v squared, where v is the speed of the two masses just before the lead ball hits the ground. Now, what if the ramp is not smooth at all, such that there's a constant frictional force acting on the wooden block? Can we still apply PCOE? Since the frictional force is an external force that will have done negative work and decrease the total energy in this system. Yes, we can, provided that we include the work done by the frictional force as a gain in heat energy in our equation here. The amount of heat produced can be written as F times H, which is the magnitude of the work done by the frictional force. When we include a positive number on the right-hand side of the equation, it should result in a smaller, uh, finer speed of the two masses, which makes sense. So this is how the game is played. Identify a before and after instance where the total energy of the system is constant, equate the losses and the gains, and if frictional force is involved, uh, include it as a form of gain in heat. Alright, that's all. Ta-ta!